What's up everybody? Little Big Robots back with another video. This time I just wanted to do a kind of a fun little little video about this little thing I bought on Amazon. Um, as many of you know, I collect Sherman Tank toys now. I've I've always been into Sherman Tanks, but I built a model a while ago. I have some different other Sherman Tank videos coming up. And I saw this on Amazon. I was just doing a quick search and I thought, this is brilliant. I've really got to get something like this again. And when you're a kid, you might know that you get uh, army men, packs of army men, which are you know just little green, you know, packs of. Some of you out there might be too young to really have grown up on packs of army men, but a pack of army men and their vehicles was an afternoon of fun back when I was a tot, and they were cheap. And this one is uh, a Sherman tank. I can't remember where it's made. I want to say it's made in America, but I seriously doubt it. Let's see, don't want to, yeah, that's not made in America. BMC Toys. So I just did a search and I found a, I, I seriously was just, I searched for, you know, Sherman Tank Toys. And you'll come across all sorts of ones. And I found this Army Men style Sherman Tank toy. So I want to look at the rest of the toys. Because this is, from the picture I saw, it was really cool. So I just got it yesterday. I thought we'd take a look at it. Because it's really not a bad looking, just for a $14 uh, army man tank now army man for 14 bucks back in the day you would get like three tons of army men but in this case I just bought one tank look it even comes rested um, Sherman's you often see right here we'll have this little thing in the front here that thing actually will hook up and it will hold the the barrel down I believe to get past trees and stuff for transport I believe whatever Again, I'm still learning, so feel free to correct me in the comments. And this is just a toy, an Army Man toy. And just filling it, it's really a, a pretty heavy-duty plastic. Ooh, look at this. I didn't notice. I was wondering what that I kept filling it on my hands. So there's some information. It's made in China. So a tank that helped win the war, made in China. Look at this. You get some cool... Uh... Now, back in the day, um, I, I wondered this as a kid. Why are they putting stars on their Sherman tanks and sometimes they would put them right here great big stars and uh, people were like well because pilots flying overhead if you just saw that from a distance you couldn't tell is that an enemy tank is that one of ours and the star would help uh, identify it but I heard complaints later correct me if I'm wrong that those white stars you'd place on the side served as a perfect little marker for a gun for an enemy gun <laughs> so I don't know if that's true and I need to read more about it but so I'll be I'll, I'll be happy to put those on now. What I, before I put them on though, I'm going to check with my. Let me show you show you my book I've got. I've got a couple of these, but these are great little books um, that give you an interior view and everything of the Sherman. You can grab them on on uh, Amazon, eBay stuff like that, 15, 20 bucks, and they're printed. They have some nice the pictures. Aren't the greatest quality, but of course a lot of pictures back there back then weren't. Let's see if I can find one with a star. I know there's an uh, there's a. Um, a draw, yeah, see there, he has got a star on the side, but that's not the American one, that's the, it might be, actually, that is, they were using it in Tunisia, yeah, U.S. First Armor, but there's one with a good, there's a star right there, see, as well, so, I don't know how, I need to read more about that, um, they used these tanks for a long, long time after the war, I believe, some of them stayed up through the 70s or something, because they kept outfitting with, you know, larger gun stuff, but this great little book, so what I'll probably do is look at where the placement of the stars make sure it's pretty accurate. But look at that. It's really not bad. I mean, the mold is really, really not bad at all. Here's the tank, the model, which is made by, um, who was this? Uh, Tamiya? Really, really good model maker. So you can see how pretty close they got it to, this is, I guess, the layer one. It has the has the long, longer turret as well as the... Uh, this visible thing here, you see, it's a, it's a, like a vision. You can the, the captain or the, I'm sorry, the, 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 oops, I guess I dropped that. The, uh, the uh, head dude, captain, is that his name? Forgetting what their title is. Um, could look out of that without opening the hatch. You could actually look out of that. Well, I didn't know that was empty in there. It's been forever. I wonder if I could squeeze an engine in there, have a visible engine. But that looks pretty cool so far. Comparing it, different stuff. Actually, what I like about it is it has all that stuff on the back. Um, which looks pretty good size-wise, scaling-wise. I'm kind of shocked. Now, normally, um, Army Men tanks, when I was a kid, they would have, 
wheels on the bottom. So you'd have the treads that would move, and then you'd have four wheels so you could roll it around. But this is still fantastic. It's really not bad at all. Um, I think you could probably drill out that, that barrel just, uh, you know, half inch, quarter inch down. That would look cool. Put the stickers on it. You know what would be even cooler is I bet if you gave this a few licks of paint, not even paint, but just weathering, just some dry brushing and stuff, um, it would look really amazing. For $14, that's really, really cool. I'm so happy to have that. I'm going to look more into Army Men. Army Men is still a thing. Ba bags of Army Men. I'm sure you all see them. Nowadays, it's more like space people or like um, dinosaurs or whatever. But they still sell really cool Army Men toys. And seeing this ha now, I want to go see what, what else they're making. Now, I haven't gotten into buying other tanks yet. Sherman's my the, the tank I grew up on, a tank that I remember. I still love them. Um... But it might be worth to check out some of the larger sets. This is really, really cool. Like I said, about 14 bucks. Stuck on a thing. It went boop on, uh, on a transport boat. Shipped all the way over here. Landed at my door for 14 bucks. That's, that's pretty freaking incredible. But it looks really, really nice, actually. I'm really liking this. Um, I'd say that uh, if you wanted to get into Sherman's, go with the Tom Tamiya kits first. They're a little bit finicky, but they're really high quality. There is a visible interior one I'm going to get. It's about 40, 50 bucks from another company that has a full interior that I want to get that and then uh, go from there. But really, there's so many fantastic toys. If you haven't seen it already, if I haven't published it before I publish this, um, I have um, some Lego versions, not Lego, but Kobe, C-O-B-I uh, versions of, of Sherman's that look really good, as well as a new company that I'm going to be uh, building and showing you what that looks like but I'm honestly really kind of struck at how good the details are on this it's really really pretty nice and the plastic like I said feels nice and thick there are actual screws there oh I should take that apart I wonder what if, if it just pop pop and then you can see that might be not really handy for um, you see the screw in there uh, for uh, taking it apart fantastic really really cool <laughs> I want to buy a few more of those have a whole little whole little uh, um, you know, outfit full of them. But anyway, not bad. Have a good day, everybody. Later.